Yo, welcome Jokers, it's Original here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a promo video that I did for a swinger party a few weeks ago when I was in Germany. Yeah, gerne. Also, this is my first and largest party. We have heute ca. 350 people here in the Swinger Club near Dortmund. Um, wir sind super gespannt. Ich habe ein großes Team hier und habe super viele Highlights. Also es wird mega. Und in dem Moment kommst du von hinten, dass man auch so dein Body auch sieht. Ja, kommst du jetzt? Du musst yeah. dich streichen. <lacht> right now I am currently in Jamaica. That's why there's new hair, new background. That's why there's so much noise, sorry in advance. But yeah, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, then you might have already met Angie, right? She is the one that we did that BDSM shoot with. She's the one that has a literal slave. If you didn't see that video, check it out right here. But if you guys saw that video, then you know that she also organizes swinger parties, right? So after we shot that, she loved my work and she was like, yo, Choka, you need to shoot all my swinging parties for the rest of the year. Here is my Kalinda. Can you make this date, this date, this date, this date? Yeah, so this was the first one. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what that was like. Now, for those of you who don't know, a swinger party is essentially just a sex positive party where couples and singles alike can go to have a night of adult fun, right? Now, usually there is a dance floor where they typically play techno music because that's more like the genre that you hear in the scene. And then around the dance floor, like in different areas, they would have what we call play areas or play rooms. These are essentially just rooms or sections that are designated, that are designed for play, for sex, right? So at Angie's parties, she usually has, first of all, she doesn't really like techno music. So she usually plays like Latin, she plays hip hop, dance hall, rap, yeah, dance hall, I said dance hall twice. <laughs> I wanted to say even Afrobeats. And I think that that's, that makes her parties like pretty unique because just imagine like you're at a swinger party you meet this girl right you guys hit it off and you want to go to the play area and as soon as you get to the play area the first song that plays is 50 cent candy shop i take it to the candy shop mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so no lie this actually happened to kim and i when we were at her when we were at a kinky party that's a different kind of party we're gonna make a video about that, so stay tuned if you wanna hear about that. But this was a swinger party, which is a little bit different, right? The kinky parties usually have more than one dance floors, usually have many DJs and different rooms that you can go to. It's usually more focused around partying, whereas I get the feeling, or at least I got the feeling when I was at the swinger event, it was more about like connecting and, and, and having sex, of course, right? So apart from the music, there's another thing, uh, at least at Angie's parties, I, I'm really like new to the swinger party scene, so I don't know if every swinger party does this, but at her parties, she has buffets with like a wide variety of food, delicious freaking food, right? She also has drinks inclusive all around. So for us as Jamaicans, that's pretty normal. Like, you know, usually when you buy a ticket or you go to an all-inclusive, you kind of expect you kind of expect the drinks to be included, even though, even if they don't say it's all inclusive, but <laughs> that's not common in, in Germany. So that was really cool for her party, right? She had a cocktail bar and they were serving drinks all around. I don't drink, but every time I needed an apple juice or an orange juice, I was at that bar and I was drinking it for free. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm the cameraman, so I wouldn't pay anyways, but like still, you know? Now the next thing about these kind of parties, as you can imagine, there's a dress code, right? And this is like a time for people to escape, for them to go into a different identity. Oh, that's another big thing that's like different between the kinky and the swinger parties. Like at the kinky parties, the, the dress code applies both to male and female. It's like just a general dress code of like kink, which is, you know, like chains and meshes and whips and um, like outfits. Like they have, you have these stores you can go to to get these special design outfits, right? Whereas at the swinger parties, I saw people were mostly just wearing lingerie. At least the women were mostly wearing lingerie and the dress code for the men was like formal. So they had on like button down shirts and ties and, and pants, which it's kind of weird <laughs> that you have the, the guys all suited up and then the women are fully naked. But anyways, that's that's how it was, right? 
So at these parties, like I said, people are there, they're dressed up like that and they go there to escape, right? So now maybe, maybe like 2% or 10% of people in their life know that they go to these kind of things, right? They don't want the whole world knowing that they are at these parties. So that provides a challenge for me. That means I cannot go in like a regular party and shoot up the whole place, right? I can't just go in and snap, snap, take shots of everybody that's there because that's a no-go. You're actually not even allowed to use your phone while you're there. There's no pictures, like, they're really strict on this. So to go around that, we have to go to the venue early, right? We have to go early and we have to make a promo video with selected people who have their consent, who have consented to be on camera, right? So Angie, She's smart, she's clever, right? She fed one bird with two seeds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, the car is passing. <laughs> yeah, Angie, she's clever, right? She served, she fed two birds with one seed, right? So she just knocked it out. She decided to use, as a talent pool, to use staff members or people who were already going to be working at the party. So that meant that they had to come early anyways, right? So what she did was she arranged two, let's call them gentlemen, you know, they were shirtless in their suited, their dress pants, you know, and a little bow tie, and they would give out the champagne once you come in. Then there were also, there were also a pair of bunnies, the two bunnies, and these bunnies were giving out part party favors during the, the party, right? So candy, fruits, stuff like that. And so we had those four people and we also had Angie who would do performances. This is one thing that she normally does as her at her parties. She would perform, like she's a stripper, so she would put on shows, different, different things, right? So we had our crew, we had our talent, and now it was time to shoot. Whoosh, production. So the first thing I did when I arrived was I took a full tour of the place because it was my first time being at that location and actually my first time being at a swinger party. So I wanted to check this thing out. I'm going to show you a snippet of that. I'm going to cut that, cut back to the live footage of that. Doing a tour through the, doing a tour through the club is my first time here. Location one, it looks so good. All these rooms. So nice, like, look at that, yo. So this is one play area. And then over here, we got the rendezvous. Do not disturb. Another play area. This one is on the floor. No, it looks really good though, I like it here. There's also more play areas upstairs, so I'm gonna go check those out right now. So there were a lot more playrooms than I expected, actually. Like there were a lot of vanilla rooms for group sex. There were rooms for more intimate one-on-one -on -one sex. I think there was maybe a couple room and one-on-one, -on one and two. <laughs> yeah, one-on-one sex. I think there was a couple room. There was even a hot tub. It was like two, two stories, two floors of just playrooms back to back to back, side to side, right? Um, they even had, for the adventurous people, they had a kinky room, like a BDSM room with whips and chains and objects that to this day, I still don't even know what the hell they're made for. But you know, they had that. If you're into that thing, they had that, right? So after I was finished my tour, Angie and I started going over the shots that, sh that we wanted, right? She wanted us to present the viewer's perspective coming to the party, what they will do, like how it is basically, right? And we knew we were gonna do this, but while we were there on the location, we decided spontaneously that we were gonna make it a POV. Made her put her hand in front of the camera so we can kind of get that POV look. And I would like move the camera in a way to seem like it's, it's her head looking around like, oh wow, look at this place, right? So the first thing we shot was her coming into the location and greeting Angie. And this is actually something that Angie does for all the parties. She greets, I think, everybody who comes in up until a certain point. So when you come in, first thing is you get a hug from Angie. And then right after that, you can get champagne. So we had the champagne boys, they were ready. Then after that, you would go a little bit further into the changing rooms. You would take off your clothes 
And then when you go into the party itself, you can get the party favors from the party bunnies, right? We also spoke to the bartenders and we got them to make a cocktail. Because Angie is a familiar face that we already knew and it's somebody that we could use, we had her sit down at the bar and having chit chat, having conversation to us, the viewer, to the camera, right? So this was pretty straightforward to shoot, right? It was a dark, dark club. So for the first shot, I had to use my pocket light to bring up the ambient light in the room. And to do that, I just turned the light on to the brightest, pointed up to the ceiling and allowed it to bounce around all the walls, making the general brightness of the room brighter, <laughs> making the general, yeah, making the general room brighter. So we did that, boom, bam, bam, that went well. I also had to use it when I was showcasing the massage bed because there was also a massage bed upstairs and I wanted to have the guy throwing out the towel and, you know, greeting people to say, hey, come sit down, have a massage, right? Well, lay down. <laughs> now, the only one of these shots that was kind of tricky was the POV shot that we tried to get of Angie changing. And so the story behind this, the reason why we had to get Angie changing was the talent that we used. Her hand was actually broken, so she had on a cast. She had a cast on her right hand. And the whole time she had to be using her left hand to do things like to accept the key to the locker, to accept her drink, stuff like that. And we didn't want to get a shot of her changing or putting on her outfit and showing the hand at the same time because it didn't look nice. It, it didn't look nice, right? So we thought, okay, wait, since we're not showing the person's face, we could just let Angie change, you know? And so this was kind of hard because I was directly behind Angie, right? And I was pointing the camera down like this and I was getting her changing, putting on her kinky outfit for the night. And the, the difficult part was to get the shot without seeing her nipples. She also had a tattoo, which we had seen from the first scene when she was greeting, when, when she was greeting the guests. So we had to try and figure out, okay, first of all, how do we shoot this in a way that's tasteful so you don't see her naked? Because it's for Instagram, we have to show that. We can't show nipples. And also, how do we shoot it in a way that you don't see her tattoo? We eventually found a way, but it was still just kind of like a funny, <laughs> how are we, we going to do this kind of moment now? In the end, we got it. It was a nice shot. And we had a lot of time to get everything before the guests arrive. So we could get everything we needed. And at that point, I was like, yo, I'm already here. This is a, a swinger party. I've never been to a swinger party before. I might as well just stay, check it out, enjoy the night, right? And I had a really great time. I've, I didn't play with anyone that night. I only listened to the music and danced, danced the night away. Actually, I was freaking sweating. This is the first time in a long while I've sweated like that. I was drenched on the freaking dance floor. The music was so good. There were a lot of mixes and mashups that I've never heard before. So that was a fun night. Now the editing of this video is really not complex, so there's not much for me to say about the post-production. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Big up my jokers.